Thank you, Member. The Member for Vancouver, Point Grey. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. It's very hard to study when you're hungry, but it's also really hard to eat if you don't have enough money for food. Students at universities across British Columbia have to choose too often between paying for school essentials and food. Sometimes the money doesn't stretch as far as the student first thought, and sometimes the money was never there in the first place. Into this hunger gap have stepped food banks at BC's universities and colleges, including the food bank run by the University of British Columbia, AMS. Coordinating the food bank at the Point Grey campus of UBC is Jay Singh, a happy and energetic 20-year-old Bachelor of Commerce student at the Sauter School of Business. It's Jay's job to coordinate the many volunteers who spend what few hours they have between home, school, and studying to staff the food bank. Jay does his job with enthusiasm and a lot of concern. As he told local media this summer, quote, we have seen an increase in demand, but we haven't seen an increase in supply at all. To meet the shortfall, the food bank is introducing a new program called Food for Fines, where students who have to pay library fines can pay with canned food. They've also started offering fresh produce sourced through a partnership with a community rooftop garden at the AMS student building. But it may not be enough. Last year at this time, the UBC Food Bank had 23 visits from students who needed food. Demand has more than doubled this year. So far this September, 58 students knocked on the AMS food bank door. The food bank always needs financial and food donations. So if you call to donate, wish Jay and the volunteer food bank team luck. They have far too much work to do and not enough food with which to do it. Congratulations to all of the UBC students volunteering with the UBC food bank. We wish we didn't need your work feeding hungry students in our community, but we thank you for it. Thank you. Thank you.